Very simply, how does it feel to be here tonight for this special screening of the film One Night in Mill Street? Um, obviously I retired a little over 25 years ago and you know walked away from all the um, publicity and attention with, with the boxing. Life has moved on, done many other things. Um, and to come back and have this and obviously to, to chat with Chris and be in his company, it's uh, it's just kind of brought me back 25 years. So it's 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 nice. It's 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 strange. It's 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 ex it is exciting. But it's great that I, my daughter's here, and my son is here, and my wife is here. And, and you know, my my son and daughter weren't born, and I wasn't married to my wife when this all happened. So it's, it's they're party to something that happened a generation ago, and it's, we are reliving it again. Is it nice to relive it again, as you say, go, go down memory? I, I, I don't know if it's something you do normally. You've seen the result, haven't you? Of course it's nice. I mean, I could relive this forever and ever and ever. It's, uh, it's easy for me. I came out on top, so yes, the answer is yes, it is easy for me to relive it. Of course, maybe not so much for Chris, but I get the feeling there's a great deal of respect between you two, great deal of admiration. How's, what's it like to be back together tonight? Yeah, well, I have a great admiration for him as a fighter. He was a very tough guy. He, Thankfully, he was around the era I was around and he brought so much attention, publicity and, and, and money to the game. So Chris Eubank was the best thing to, to super middleweight boxing during our time, so I, I can't thank him enough for that. It's a great moment it was in my life and I, you know, I was there. I was there, but I didn't see it, if you understand what I'm saying. So now I'm going to get the view from the outside and see what really went on. When you're in the ring and you're boxing, you're preparing for the match, for the fight. You switch off to what's going on around you, but now I can experience what everybody who came along, family, friends and supporters, I can now experience what they experienced by looking at it from the outside. Is that what the emotions is? I assume you've seen this film already. Is it a case of looking from the outside at what you were very much in the middle of? Yeah, that's what I experienced when I watched it last week in Cork. I kind of sat back and went, wow, I'd never seen this side of it. And I now understand why my family enjoyed it so much. Because, you know, the result was, the good, was a positive result, so it's, it's, it's a lot easier watching it. But they went through it at the time. They didn't know what the result was going to be. Even when the fight was over until the judges announced it, they didn't know what the result was going to be. So I have that uh, comfort that I know the result, but it's just experience and seeing it from other people's point of view is what I enjoyed. And it's something that I never really understood. I knew about or experienced until I saw the, um, the documentary. Of course, is boxing still something you miss? Or do you, do you move on from it? Or do you, have you, did you stop missing it long ago? Or? I don't miss it. I don't miss it. I, I, I love the game. I gave it it was my life. It wasn't a hobby, it was an obsession. I boxed for 25 years non-stop. My first fight to my last fight was 25 years of dieting, fighting, training, planning my next move You know, in, in my career. So when I walked away from it, I, I, I reached a point where I didn't want to do it anymore. And when I walked away, it was a great weight off my shoulders. And thank God I was in the right place and lucky and blessed to have achieved what I achieved because great athletes, great fighters did not achieve I achieved better fires than me did not achieve what I achieved so I was lucky to be in the room when Barry Hayne walked in to be in the position to get you know to be a substitute to fight Chris Eubank to get the opportunity to you know springboard onto the, the, the world scene so uh, there was a lot, lot of luck involved and I'm glad you know I, I was in the right place at the right time and I, I also worked very hard I'm sure you did I'm surprised you, you do, do you put lockdown as a contributor is that something that made you a champion made you beat Nigel or oh, what was it that made you take do you think helped you beat Chris Eubank twice Nigel Ben twice what made you the champion you were I, if you could put it down to I me. grew up in a home a loving loving home the wonderful parents of the greatest dad in the world and a wonderful loving mother who gave us who gave me security and confidence and if you give a young child security and confidence and let them believe in their dreams they can achieve greatness and that's how I grew up so it's not me my achievement is great but the whole team and background and what brought me there you know is my upbringing my love as for my parents my support for my brothers and sisters and my, my my family and country and friends and also a lot of good luck and probably on top of all that a lot of really 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 dedication and hard work just one more fun question before I let you go. Obviously, you and Chris are here again together to the, again tonight. I mean, it's many years since your famous fights, but what would it be? What would it look like if you were to have a rematch tonight? And who'd come out on top? What would it look like if you had a rematch? A rematch, a third fight between you two this evening. <laughs> 
I mean, I've, I've done it twice, so many times you have to do it. But I, I, I don't think Chris O'Reilly did not ever want to get in the boxing ring again. We both done what we did. We both were dedicated. He was great for the game. He was an amazing fighter. I had, you know, it was my night. I was, you know, I, I had the night. Could have been his night. If it was, I wouldn't be here. But, you know, it was my night. So um, that's life. You just move on. We're both healthy, you know. Um, and both were lucky in life. Chris has had a major setback with the loss of his son. When I see him, that's the most important thing to me was to let him know, was to, not to console him, but just let him know that I, I, you know, I'm sad what happened for him. And I, um, it's no man should go through what he went through. And that is something that no punch and no loss and no defeat can hurt him as much as what he's gone through. So he has, he has my support there as a father. Of course, of course. And yeah, just to, to end, you're going to enjoy the night. Like you say, your family's here, everyone's here, and you're going to enjoy reliving those memories, I bet. Yeah, I know the results, so I will sit back and enjoy it and relax, yes. And thank you for all the support. And um, yeah, it's been great. Thank you. Perfect. I'll let you go with that stage. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.